Hey guys, it's Dr. Nate here again. I want to talk to you today about dental crowns, what they are, what the procedure's like, how much they cost, and do you need one? So what is a dental crown? The odds are if you're watching this, maybe your dentist told you you want, need one, your friend needs one, mom, dad, brother, sister, somebody needs one, and you're like, what the heck is a dental crown? I'm going to talk to you about all things dental crown related, so let's get into it. The dental crown is basically just something we put on the teeth to make the tooth a little bit stronger and there's a lot of reasons for this you can have one of the biggest reasons is you probably had a big big cavity and that cannot be filled with just a small little filling one of the reasons you probably need a crown is because you had an itty bitty little filling that now is turned into something big and it can't be just corrected with just a small little filling. So you now need a crown and that's why I've told you in previous videos, if you get go to the dentist and they say you have fillings, you should just get them done. Maybe you don't trust them, maybe you wanna get a second opinion, but if the, another dentist tells you as well, you should probably get those filled because those small itty bitty cavities can turn into big, big cavities and they're no longer fillings, which cost a couple hundred bucks. They turn into dental crowns, which cost a lot, lot more. So one of the reasons is you can have a big filling that now is turned into a crown. You can have a fracture, say you got hit, you smashed yourself on the floor, you're playing football, you ran into a pole. <laughs> That tooth is fractured, you may need a crown if too much of the tooth structure has been taken away. Most of the time it can't be filled with just a filling. If maybe the tooth color of your teeth is really, really, you know, maybe gray or brown or yellow and it can't be whitened, then sometimes you'll need a crown. There's a lot of different reasons why you may need a dental crown. Do babies or little kidlets, do they get crowns? Yes, they do. There's lots of different types of crowns. In adults, most people get some sort of ceramic or a version of some sort of ceramic crown. It looks tooth colored, so it blends in really, really nice. If you're getting them in the front, a lot of times if they're done by a good dentist and a good lab, can't even really tell that they have a crown. If you look at those celebrities, they probably have a lot of crowns or veneers on the front of their teeth. Those are probably fake teeth. Those are probably not real teeth. They just look really good. So you can't really tell. Some other people do not like that look. They want their crown to stand out. They get the gold crown and they get some different type of crown that really stands out. You know what's interesting is gold crowns are still probably the best crowns you can get. They fit really, really well. They're very biomimetic. They just really, really attach to those teeth really well. They bond really good and they last probably the most amount of time compared to all other crowns. So that's why gold crowns are still amazing. Most people don't want to get them. The gold prices are constantly going up and maybe people don't want to show gold in their mouth. But if you like that, gold is a great option for a dental crown. You say your baby needs a crown. Maybe your teenage son needs a crown. A lot of times they'll start off with just a silver crown. Silver crowns are super easy, easy to put on, very affordable. And you may not want to get that permanent crown until they're like 18, 19 when they're slowing down their growth. You don't want to put a crown in there and teeth all move and shift and then you might need to redo another one. So most people will like for getting a stainless steel crown when you're in your teens or even before that they might get stainless steel crowns and you'll get your permanent, your tooth colored porcelain-esque crown when you're an adult, when you're a little bit later and hopefully that's gonna last a really, really long time. Let's talk about how long they last. Dental crowns do not last forever. Nothing really in our body lasts forever. So these crowns, on average, if you take really good care of them, they can last 20 years, maybe even more. If you take really bad care of them, they can last a couple years. It just really depends on the type of crown, how big the restoration was that they need to kind of fill, how much they need to take away of the tooth structure, how bad your bite is, how strong your bite is, how well you brush, floss, you Use that sonic toothbrush, how often do you know to cleaning? You know, there's so many variables, so you can't just say, hey, it's gonna be this amount of time and then the crown's gonna go bad. A lot of it really depends on you and how well you take care of that crown. Remember, just because you got a crown does not mean that tooth is fake, does not mean that tooth can just be left to do whatever it wants. You still need to brush, floss, do all the proper proper oral health care so that your crown lasts as long as possible. You know what? You can still get a cavity underneath the crown. Did you know that? So you have the crown that goes on top of the tooth, but the, the bacteria and all that bad stuff can go in between the crown and the tooth 
and actually seep back into the tooth and it can make a cavity underneath the crown. So sometimes you have a crown that comes off and looks really nasty underneath and that's why the bacteria seeped underneath the crown is starting to decay at that tooth. And if you didn't need a root canal before, you are likely need a root canal that time because if it gets underneath the crown, there's not much tooth structure in between the tooth and the root canal and the root pulp chambers and all this stuff where the blood vessels and the nerves are, there's not much room. First of all, you throwing too many big words at me. So likely it probably ate away a lot of the tooth and you might now need a root canal. So that's why I say when you get a crown, you want to make sure you take very, very good care of it so it stays nice and healthy and can last as long as possible. So let's talk about how long a crown lasts and how expensive are they. So you can get super, super cheap stainless steel crowns, which you probably don't want because those won't last very long. They're definitely going to get cavities underneath them. That'll probably cost you a couple hundred bucks. Super cheap. A good porcelain crown can run you anywhere from maybe 700-ish to 1500-ish, depending on where it's at, depending where you live, depending on lab they use, depending on your insurance. And then if you want to get a gold crown, believe it or not, gold crowns although you may not think this, they're actually more expensive than a porcelain or what we call Emacs type of crowns just because gold price kind of fluctuates and it's actually getting kind of expensive. So those are roughly the price ranges you can think of paying. But if you have insurance, you may be paying less because a lot of insurances cover crowns. That's pretty common that they're going to cover crowns. Maybe they'll cover at 50%, 80%, 90%, 100%. Some people get super amazing coverage and that just depends on your specific insurance. But plan on spending, if you don't have any insurance, anywhere from 700 to 1500, depending on where you live. So you're like, Dr. Nate, man, this is too expensive. Can't I just wear my temporary crown? You know, I went to the dentist. I just paid them a little bit. I had them uh, start making my crown, but they gave me a temporary. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to spend the rest of the money. Can I just wear this temporary crown forever? And this is what I say to that. I say, no, no, you cannot wear that temporary crown forever. Hence the name temporary. It will not last forever. It is made of kind of a resin material that is meant to only be worn for a couple of weeks. What is going to happen is you are going to wear that for a little bit and it is going to come off. It's going to break. The underlying tooth structure is going to show. If you haven't got a root canal already, that tooth is probably going to be sensitive because there's so much tooth structure that has been removed. So if you actually use that temporary for a while, it's going to come off. You're going to have other bacteria come in, food come in, really, really harm that tooth. And if you do not go back in to get that crown done really, really soon, likely you're going to need a root canal. Super likely you're going to need a root canal. You're going to need to do another crown. And so that price you would have spent early on is definitely going to cost you more in the long run. So no, you cannot just wear that temporary crown forever. All right, so your crown is good. Everything's on they're good, it lasts a few years, and then it comes off. What do you do? I will tell you what not to do. Don't grab that crazy glue, that super glue, something like that, put it on there and stick it back on your mouth. That is super dangerous. Please do not do that. There is some kind of temporary cements you can probably get from some like Amazon or something that will last you a little bit, but do not do this yourself. There's a reason that crown came off. Why did that crown come off? There's a couple things. Potentially when they made the crown, they may have not made it right. Maybe it didn't get cemented properly. That happens sometimes. And it just came off and everything's good. And maybe you can just take to the dentist and they're gonna glue it back on. Boom, you're good. The better um, reason is probably when they're making the preparation, maybe the tooth got really small. So there's not much for the crown to latch onto. So it falls off. So if you just put it back on, it's probably gonna fall off again. That is not good. but the Probably the worst possible reason is you had your crown and like I mentioned, you did not keep very good care of it. You didn't brush floss, do all those good things. And so now that crown has come off because bacteria seeped underneath and broke the bond in between the crown and your tooth. And let me kind of go into this a little bit. How do crowns stay on the tooth? They stay on a little bit because there's this kind of retention in between the crown and the actual tooth, like this mechanical bond that is in between the crown and the tooth. But the bigger reason is, or a chemical bond, but the bigger reason is there's like this mechanical bond and how I explain it is say you have two red solo cups. If you have two <laughs> solo cups on top of each other, you take one off, you take the top one off and the bottom one comes with it. Why? It's not because they're glued together. It's not because they're like, you know, stapled together. It's because they have this mechanical suction onto the tooth. So when we prepare the tooth, we do it in such a way that when we put the crown on, it's going to stick on there in this mechanical type of retention. That is a lot of kind of words 
words and a lot of description to just basically say that the crown is fit on your tooth super well in a very, very specific way so that the tooth can hold onto the crown for as long as possible. So if you're looking to get a crown, come on in, we can help you out. But this video was meant to help you understand all things dental crown, why you got one, why you need one, why they can possibly come off, how much they're gonna cost. There you have it, that is all you need to know about dental crowns, you know the procedure, you know how much it costs, you know how it stays on, why it may come off, why you should not keep your temporary on there permanently. That is everything you need to know. You know I'm trying to put out videos every single week, so please subscribe below and I'm answering all your questions. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll try my best to answer them and I will see you in the next video.